It's the sound of construction that's resonating with residents this weekend. Thanksgiving was a much needed respite for those who are back outside rebuilding and cleaning. Everybody took the time off because we have been going at it so hard that you really have to take time to still try to enjoy your life, you know. But with tourism season approaching and an estimated $29.4 billion in damages done to New Jersey, there's not much time to spare. The power superstorm Sandy can still be seen to this day. Take a look behind me. You can see how the rain and wind and literally the ocean push through this living room. Families have had a short holiday this season as they're back to work already to rebuild their homes. Red Cross volunteer John Trucy has been helping victims in the area around the clock, witnessing an unsurpassed amount of destruction. How about a pitch of worth thousand miles go inside? With extensive water damage, the floors and walls of this house have been ripped out, and the furniture and belongings have been dumped on the curbside. A site not uncommon for others in this neighborhood rebuilding their own homes. I've been working on it like two days. It's my mother-in-law's home. We're just cleaning it up, getting all the debris out to the curb. So as you can see, it'll be three months, four months, guesstimating. As for Point Pleasant in general, it is clear it will take much longer. The boardwalk remains in shambles, park benches still lay in people's backyards, and utility poles are still down. Debris from the storm is quickly piling up in empty lots across the town. Only one shop on this boardwalk is open for business, and people are coming only to see the destruction for themselves. The restoration is a slow but steady process. However, residents and government officials remain hopeful that most of the shore can be restored by this coming summer. For BUTV News, I'm Tiana Bonner.